doing? Good, it's so nice good. to see, good you, to see you, you again. Too. It's been a while. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. When were you here last? Is it intentional, Ara, then the, the further you go into the shop, the more expensive and beautiful oh, the pianos are? Is uh, that how you designed this? Sort of, but, but I think it was more the practicality of having the constant instruments lined up here. And they're all sort of different ages. You may have even performed on this one. This one right. came from uh, the City Recital Hall. They replaced okay. the instrument uh, recently, so that's, that's one that they replaced. And that one's right. uh, one from the Opera House as well. Okay. Uh, this this is a, a fairly new this one. Is new, yeah. And the one on stage is, is new as well. This started off life in the concert hall in uh, Hamburg. Oh. Uh, sent, uh, first five years of, his, years of his life. Then we got it from there. And this is an older New York uh, Steinway. So it's uh, the one of the Ivory Key era. Uh, no, 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 it actually doesn't have ivory keys. They they. Uh, because they, they did have a brief period, the Americans, yes, didn't they, when yes, they, they used ivory, and then suddenly they, they can't use ivory anymore. Mm -hmm. What about really old ones? Do you ever Really old ones? Yes, uh, there's this one over here from 1889, I think it is. It's a Model C. Apparently, it's, it has, uh, uh, I've been told it has quite an illustrious. Uh, well, that's nice. I like that. This is so practical. I wish they would bring this back. Yes, it lets the sound through, it doesn't it? It lets the sound through because, yeah. you know, if, you, if you're playing from a score or practicing yes. and you have this up, it's incredible how mm. much sound is lost yes. through this piece of wood. What is it? Almost an inch thick. That's right. It's quite thick um, and quite, quite strong. Uh, so if I'm playing chamber music, it's, I, I, I often have it set it at sort of this kind of height. Yes. I've got a little sort of pair of clips that I put in behind. Yes. Yeah. Um, but this it's not just for decoration. Mm, this is the mm. most practical thing. Yeah. We've, actually, the sound we've actually had uh, um, this design uh, done on, on a computer, yeah. and we've now uh, organised to cut it to have them laser cut, so we can put them on any uh, any, any piano. Yeah, you should yeah. do it. On yeah. that. I know this looks modern and mm, kind of post-war, mm. but uh, but it is very practical. Actually, maybe we can have a look. We're moving out of the sort of yeah. expensive at yeah. uh, this upright. Piano yes, yes. What interests me is, a, in a way, pianos, obviously we're talking about them, they yes, are made of yes, wood. Yes. But it's strange, isn't it, that we, we have th something made of wood and then we cover it up mm. with what's basically sort of plastic or yes. polyester. And yet there was a time when, when the actual wood was, was mm. treasured by mm. people who made mm. pianos and these amazing rosewood pianos and, mm. and so on. And this one is gorgeous. There's something also about the upright piano mm. that has an intimacy because you know it's used in the home. You yes. know, upright pianos are never on stage unless they're in some kind of a parody mm. form mm. where you would um, play it deliberately out of tune or something mm. like that. Mm. But uh, this takes me back to the very first piano that I owned, which mm. I had had two candlesticks here. Yes. I can't remember the name of it. It was a German overstrung mm. upright that my parents bought for five pounds mm. in a local antique shop. Is this five pounds? Oh, no, it's a Not, quite. <laughs> Not quite. Not quite. Um, even with the exchange rate, that's a little bit more. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, it, it, mm. it takes me back to, mm. you know, it's, they're the pianos we learn on, they're the mm. pianos we, we learn to love music yes. on. I mean, these are the, the public face, but this is behind the scenes. Mm. This is where you can't normally see. Certainly. And yeah. I think there's something very poignant about mm. these old uprights mm. that are so beautiful. And it is gorgeous. I mean, it, it, even the fact that it's over 100 years old, it still works. It's yeah. still structurally fine. Yes, it is a little bit worn, has a little different kind of sound to it, but it still works. Uh, uh, yeah. So it was made very well to start with and looked yeah. after very well, and it's still alive. Even the uh, intricate music desk where it just falls down and oh, yeah. just comes out. It's just small touches. Well, Ara, thank yes. you for... It's always lovely to talk pianos right. and, you know, it's, it's our lives. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> and it is. Uh, and the, you've got such a wonderful variety here yeah. from, you know, mm. top to bottom of yes. the range. So, uh, yeah, we tried.